Good evening. We're going straight to the White House where the president's spokesman is about to make a major announcement. We have just received confirmation from the South China Sea that the oil exploration vessel Benthic Adventure, whose illegal seizure by the Chinese Navy precipitated this war, has been recaptured by U.S. forces and escorted to safety. That's all I have for the moment. Sally Jarvis on the independence. Uh, what do you have on this? Jim, Chinese technicians had been working on the vessel to prepare a full-blown oil drilling operation. The night before last, however, a team of Navy SEALs retook the ship in a textbook operation that was carried out with absolute surprise and only a handful of casualties, none of them American. Having taken the vessel, the SEALs then took the ship out of harm's way, shadowed by the nuclear submarine, the USS Cheyenne. Two Ticonderoga-class cruisers, Bunker Hill and Princeton, then an early burk. cleared the immediate area of Chinese forces and escorted the Benthic adventure to safety. Holy shit. Sally? Are you there? Jim, that was very close. An explosion rocked the ship. Our camera's been smashed. We're okay, but we can't see the damage to the ship. The USS Independence is under fire in the South China Sea. We have lost Sally's signal. The Independence may have taken a hit. We will try to re-establish contact as soon as possible. We can only hope that everyone on board is all right. We'll be back in a moment. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Tom Clancy SSN. Oh my god, I've been recording forever. So happy to be recording again. Okay, so, um, let's see here. The Independence is under attack, as you, if you saw that uh, intro movie that also described an, Ar uh, an Arlie Burke as being a Ticonderoga, which is false. So yeah, Independence is under attack. We got to go help her. Uh, we got to do sonar contact. We will be having a we're rendezvousing with the Santa Fe, another 688i, and uh, we'll be running together and we'll be taking out these Chinese subs that are attacking the Independence. So let's get to it. This should be a quick mission. There's only three waypoints here. It's definitely not going to be another seven video part, I'll tell you that much right now. But yeah, how's everyone doing? It's good to be back. Good to be back indeed. Okay, neutral ballast. Who is this? Where are they? Deeper. Oh, they must be on the other side of this ridge or something. I don't know why I'm picking them up. <laughs> see what we got on the, uh, the ELF. Or no, the ELF said we had a message. What do we have on the SSIX? Sink pack fleet to Cheyenne. Be advised. USS Independence reports to a cool is closing on her position. Move with all speed to assist, protect independence. Very well. Let us juice it up here. Uh, Akulas. Okay, this might be a little trickier for some reason. I was thinking Hans and Kilos, but Akulas. Alrighty, yeah, we got a rendezvous with the USS Santa Fe, so I guess let's get back down beneath this layer here a little bit. Rendezvous was achieved successfully. We have rendezvous. Can we move on? I don't think we've reached the right point yet. Well, let's just go say hi to the uh, Santa Fe. <coughs> I'm sure I know her skipper. Oh, I don't want to run into this seamount though. No, go back up, go back up, go back up. <laughs> go back up. I can't be underneath the layer down here. There's that seamount. We'll see her on the other side of this ridge. We'll probably get to the waypoint before we even need to see her. If you see what I'm saying, dog. You shmeal me. Oh, don't keep it on too long now. Don't get too cocky with the neutral ballast. Hello. Oh, yeah, there she is. Oh, she's about to run to the frickin' the hill. <laughs> well, that's interesting. She, yeah, well, let's uh move on before she does run into the hill. Oh, too late. <laughs> no, I don't want to run into it, so, okay, there we go. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Here we are, Waypoint Bravo. We got to find the independence, so let's actually get above this layer. I don't know why we're below it. <clears throat> but yeah, these past two days I've had the worst time trying to get SSN running, man. Like, uh, my virtual machine fucked up, so I had to reinstall that. And then SSN just wasn't running fast. It was taking forever to load. It was crashing. So all this shit, this blah, 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 blah. Can't allow the independence to come to harm. Yeah, no shit. But, uh, yeah, so... I've, uh... What was I just about to say? Dude, what was I just about to say? 
I don't know. Well, I got it working. That's what. That's probably what I was about to say. I got it working. So uh, here we are, and uh, let's do it. I wonder if we should go top side. Let's see if there are any sub threats up there. Because even though you know you do have to be prompt, you do have to be quick. You got to take your time at the same time too. You can't be reckless and careless, and just go fly around shooting whatever, not caring who hears you and stuff. You do have to be careful and mind your surroundings at all times. But if this is only a three po a three waypoint mission this late in the game, I'm expecting this waypoint to actually be a pretty damn doozy. So it's a uh, neutral ballast. Wow, this is a really shallow layer up here. I know I say it all the time, but I can tell this one is just really shallow. Yeah, we're already up to like 200. We're, we're going to breach it at like 200 feet, I think, if that. Uh, let's see how. Okay, I hadn't picked up anyone yet down there, so it's neutral ballast it up. Then maybe we should try and get up to periscope depth here, huh? What do you say? <coughs> Maybe lower neutral ballast, that'll be good. I think that should be fine. Let's uh, try and kill some speed here. I want to get the scope up, see if I can see anyone up around here or anything. See if I can see anything at all. Oh, no, I'm not trying to, to advance the waypoint X. So I'm trying to see what's going on here. Uh, map. No S. I want to change my sonar scale. There's the forestal. Way the hell off there. Zero knots. Alright, lower the scope very well. Let us go back down. Have I, like, breached slightly? Or something? <clears throat> well, let's continue heading for the forestal. Or the independence, rather. She's a forestal class carrier. Let's go down, down, down. Because I'm sure these Akulas are probably going to be stalking down here a little bit. They're probably expecting us to come. They'd be fools if they weren't. Uh, we haven't made contact with the Santa Fe yet. She's around here somewhere. She's probably beneath that third layer down there. Or in that third layer, she's probably beneath the second thermocline, is what I should say. Because these big chunks, I'd much rather call them layers than just call the other things the thermocline. But you do say you are passing through a layer, so I don't know. Alright, let's, uh, let's turn here. Let's stable out here. Let's see if we can hear anyone. I, mm, I want to get up there as, as quickly as... Well, let's go down to this next layer, actually. If I was in the cool, I'd go down there. Holy crap, torpedo in the water. More torpedoes. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm actually going to juice it up up here. Because I want to get into range of these dudes, and it seems like they are beneath, beneath this next layer here. I don't know, I think they're launching at the forestal. Let's come back this way and verify what bearing they're on. I think they are launching at the forestal. Shit, we gotta get up there, dude. <coughs> they're still deeper, yeah, they're definitely down here. And this next layer is pretty deep on down to the next, um, next thermocline. But yeah, I'm just trying to juice it up and just head for these guys, dude. We need to get up there. Need to get up there. See, there's like an intersection line for their torpedoes. I think they're heading for the forestal, man. Shit, we gotta get up here, man. Alright. I'm, a. Uh, am going full speed, man. We need to get up here, dude. I might try to employ sprint and drift, but I'm just... Explosion. Shit. I'm really just tempted to just get up there. Shallower. Okay, they are going up. I think they are attacking the forestal. But they started out deeper, so I'm pretty sure these guys are down here in this layer. Alright, yeah, I will do sprint and drift. Just give me a few more seconds here. Let's get a little more speed before I kill the engine. Range 11 nautical miles and closing fast. Alright, 5, 4. Alright, stop. That's good, actually. I always try to do these countdowns, and they always end up taking longer than I want. But I think a little sprint there was good. I have no idea where the Santa Fe is. So I have to be weary about launching on far targets to try and get confirmation search. But I don't think she would be this far up ahead. But you know what they say when you assume you make an when you assume you make an ass of you and me. So I'm not trying to do that. <clears throat> but yeah, if you notice the the re-uploads, the whole reason behind that is just uh, it's just some stuff that shouldn't have been in the videos. 
Especially if I go for monetization, I just that's just something I just don't want to be in those videos. So I I want to do it, but just looking at all this stuff, they're like saying stuff like you need the the permission of the game developers and shit, but and like they might ask you to produce like proof of this of this uh, proof that they've given you permission to use it. Uh, like proof in writing or something like that. I don't know, man. It's just. But then on the other hand, I I know a lot of professional. Well, I know of a lot of professional LPRs that you do monetization, and I don't think they've gotten like strict permission from the games they use. But I mean, like the YouTube thing also says that if you're doing like a. Uh, if you're like providing tips to people and like teaching them how to do stuff, then that does qualify for monetization, which I do do. I mean, I do do some like. <laughs> do do <laughs> I do do some like a uh, vlogging when I play but that's just like in the boring parts and nothing's going on but I I do make a point of like telling you guys like how to do certain parts holy shit the hell is that is that the Santa Fe did she just launch a moss I think so how the hell is she all the way up here It's got to be a moss. It doesn't sound like a torpedo. I would hear it. It's pretty damn close. New contact. I think that's... Yeah, that, there she is. Santa Fe. What are you doing, man? You're heading away from the Akulas. Well, I will I will aid in your, uh, your La Maskirovka here. And I will load up a... Oh, I need to do this button. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. like So, I do like provide like step by step like commentary or like advice as, as per their outlines but I don't know man just that whole thing of saying you might have to provide proof just like has me really like spooked I don't know not really spooked but just like making me second guess the monetization but I did verify that my all my uploads are pretty much in line with what I want so I am ready to do it whenever I whenever I want to if I do decide to if you if you have an opinion on the matter please let me know I'm willing to hear anyone in this hear out anyone at this point I just wanna I feel like I need someone to talk it over with I don't know <laughs> cuz I mean it feels like my channel is like blowing up pretty good I've gotten a pretty big spike in views and subscribers the past few days and if I'm at the edge of something big I don't wanna like miss out on anything but on the other hand, I don't know. It's not like I'm banking on this to be my only means of living for the rest of my life. I, I really love my engineering. Assuming I can do what I really want to do with it. Which I'm not even sure of yet. <laughs> but I don't know. This is I'm, I don't really have any plans in my life for this to be the, my only source of income or the only thing I do. So I don't know. It's really just been like a hobby at this point And I'm fine with it just being a hobby. I'm not trying to sound like I'm going to get to a point where this will be my only thing of only source of income just because the areas I, I don't, some of the other people I, I know who do this for a living, well, no, that's not fair to say. I don't know. You know what? Forget I ever mentioned that last part. All right, where are these Akulas? I know I, I boogied pretty well close to this waypoint. I'm not even picking them up at all. And the Santa Fe is just like going the wrong way, and she's flanking it. Or is that still the the boss? No, no, no. Santa Fe is right here. No, that's mine. Where's the Santa Fe go? Did I lose her? Did I lose contact with her. Is that still the moss? I think it is. Still the moss. I don't know where the Santa Fe went. I I don't think she went deep enough to get me to this next layer. Did she? Where are these Akulas, man? We are coming up on the waypoint pretty rapidly here. It's getting a little warm in my room, so I'm going to take my sweatshirt off. Oh, just farted too. Lovely. Why is it so warm in my room? I guess the heat is on right now. Hmm. Well, this semester is also quickly coming to a close we have what 
three or four weeks of class left, which is just utterly insane. Where did this semester go, man? I don't know. That's just ridiculous, man. A few months time, I'm gonna real. I'm gonna be a real human being. No more college life for me. See the transients. Transients to four. I should be picking up these cuck sockers any second now. But yeah, I hope the rest of this game doesn't take as long as Liberation did because <laughs> I'll be doing this LP until like February, man. I'm not really trying to do that. I do enjoy this game, but I do want to move on to the next LP at one point. I'm just as ready to do more dangerous waters as you guys are. I mean, the quick missions are fun, but there's no continuity to them or whatever. I want to get back involved in some kind of campaign. Uh, and I'm still working on the... Uh, I haven't really put much work into it for a while because it's a pretty big undertaking. I want to use Dangerous Waters to redo the huge um, Soviet backfire versus carrier, uh, the U.S. carrier Nimitz group battle from Red Storm Rising. And it's a pretty big undertaking. And uh, I am going to need some help on it. I'm going to need some voice actors. I've already recruited a few people, but if you're interested in voice acting for this thing, please let me know. I'd be more than willing to accommodate you because <laughs> I'm just not that good at voices. I, I think it would just sound more genuine if, it, if different people were doing the voices or whatever. But I think it would be really cool once I actually do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just going to take a lot of planning. Though. I'm going to have to work out a script. Holy shit, balls. Hello. Should have launched it fast. Oh, well. Um. Oh, well, I can't pick him up because he's going slow as shit, too. Is he turning the bear? What's his course? No, he's heading away from me. I'm in his baffles. He's turning some. Well, I'm going to load the next bad boys up fast because I think we're going to be coming. There's an, there are two Akulas up here. There's going to be another one off the port. Port ish. Wow, that moss is really going fast. Wow. There's the other Akula. Which one did I launch on? I launched on the first one. Fast. Launch it up. That torpedo looks like it's going for that first one, though. I don't know. Alright, let me up fast in case I need to get some more counter. Oh shit, there's someone else up. No, I think that's the, uh, the Independence who launched that noisemaker. But maybe not. But it is pretty shallow. Are those torpedoes both going, going for the same dude? I don't know. It looks like they are. Those Akulas are like right on top of each other though, man. Boom. That torpedo is... No, it's going back for the other Akula. Who is now... Who's still in his turn. I'm still in his baffles, more or less. But he's about to be fish food, anyway. <clears throat> well, that was uneventful. The Akula is dead. I'm getting transients off the port. More transients off the port here. Maybe the Santa Fe wheeled around. And transients off to starboard here, too. And off this way to port as well. That might be the Santa Fe down that way. This transient right here is those subs. But who's over there? And we are more or less at the waypoint. Uh, give me stealths. <clears throat> and now give me fast. I can change it to stealth if I have to on the fly. It's better to be prepared. I'd rather get a quick shot off. New contact. Well, that wasn't the Santa Fe, and that contact is stopped. Let's head this way. But I'm not going to head purely that way because there's that transient off to port here that I don't want to lose, so I'm going to try and keep that within access of my sonar because uh, you got to take intel with a grain of salt, man. You got to take intel with a grain of salt. Do not trust it 100% fully. It's not that they're wrong. It's just that they, they can't know everything. They, they can't predict the future. See, look, we got Aquilo out here, too. Who's just chinchilling over here like a villain. Yeah, always take your intel with a grain of salt. The only thing that we know for certain before we got to this mission is that the Independence was under attack. That's the only thing we knew for certain. But it, it did turn out that two Akulas were there. Whether or not that's a coincidence or good intel, I don't know. But there are two Akulas out here. And this Kilo, who's kind of just chilling there, looking like he was going to wait for us. Spring a trap or something. 
I want to move on a vector towards that Akula, but I don't want to lose that transit on the port here. Well, I guess I can head a little more closer this way. I got about, like, 45 more degrees than I'm willing to take for that transient off to the left there. So I guess if I when I get to, like, 315 or 310, I can stop this turn. Which is actually, like, where the Kilo is, so it's not bad at all. Okay, well, it's not even like the Kilo can reach out to me right now, so I may increase speed. Where'd that other Akula go? I guess it sank already. Or got beneath that mount, sea mount. Alrighty, when we get to 300 here, we're going to level this out, and let's actually increase to like 8 knots or so. Sneak at close to this kilo. The fact that torpedoes have such a short range in this game makes it easier to sprint around. <laughs> 